Hey everybody, uh, this is Mark Comfort and it's Travel Tip Tuesday, Wednesdays. Actually, it's Tuesdays, not Wednesdays. Travel Tip Tuesday webinars on Tuesday. I guess I'm all excited. September 1st, can you believe it? Summer is, uh, let's call it unofficially gone. Fall is unofficially started. But most importantly, that signifies football season's ready to begin. <laughs> and I, for one, I'm just a little bit excited over here. Yes. And if I may, let's all wear masks. If we do and our numbers continue to go down, we'll be opened up all over the world. Now, there are a lot of good masks out there. You know, here we go. Defending our championship is, I think, a big deal. I was told not to put this one on because it looks more like I'm a bandit, but I kind of like it anyway. I think I'm going to wear that to the Chiefs home opener September 10th. Hey, this is a vacation show. So while a lot of people do take their vacations, go to sporting events, let's talk a little bit about what some of the good news that's going on right now. I'm very, very pleased to announce, uh, like I did on my radio show last Saturday, that the CDC very quietly um, took away or just banded whatever the word is they do not have the 14-day quarantine is gone now gone for international travel when you return to the united states uh state to state things like that and there are some asterisks to that so keep an eye on that but the good news is if our numbers continue to go down the COVID numbers in testing then uh, a lot more places in the world will open literally i found out today i am so excited that egypt has um now allowed made it official that they are allowing americans into egypt and that's really important for me uh and about 64 65 other people that on february 20th we're going to do a nile river cruise and we have that ship um literally almost completely chartered and 100 percent of the 65 people we have signed up are still signed up God bless you. Now that says to everybody that people are ready to go. People are wanting to take a vacation. And a lot of the issues that we keep hearing about is everybody says, well, outside of the United States, what's open? You know, what can we do? Where can we go? Mexico, Dominican Republic, um, Jamaica have their all-inclusives going on. A lot of the uh, little bitty islands in the Caribbean uh, you can go to, and there's all sorts of things that you need to check out beforehand, but we can most certainly help with that. And you know, we specialize not only in ocean cruises, river cruises, and all-inclusive vacations, but we are doing a lot more domestic um, vacations. One of the things that this whole webinar is about today is when all this COVID stuff hit, and it, it was very apparent that it was going to be a while before international vacations opened up, especially international cruises opened up, cruises, ocean cruises, uh, river cruises in Europe or Asia or Africa or wherever, that uh, we made a very good relationship, and I wish I would have done this a long time ago, with the American Cruise Line Company, who's hosting this webinar today or who will be presenting this webinar today. And I got so excited when I learned about all these new ships, I honestly thought, um, you know, here I am in the business. And I'm embarrassed to say this, but here I I thought, honestly, that that most of the ships were um, steamboat, you know, the, the paddle boat type paddle wheelers. And uh, and I'd been on one of those in the Columbia and Snake River and from Linda Heckman and all the great people at American Cruise Lines all about their their fleet. I, I honestly was blown away and frankly, a little disappointed in myself that we had not embraced this opportunity, this experience uh, earlier for you. So now, uh, I talked to Linda months and months ago about hosting a trip. We picked a time that was actually in November, November 14th. Um, that is the anniversary, the 32nd anniversary of Mimi and I opening the doors at Cruise Holidays of Kansas City. Can you imagine that? 32 years ago, November 14th, 1988. Scared to death couple of green rookies, and uh, it's been a fabulous career up to now. This last six months, five and a half months has been very, very frustrating, depressing, uh, tough on all of us. So I can't tell you how excited I am to um, take the opportunity and have you, I, I, I'm inviting you to join me 
on November 14th, actually November 13th, we'll spend a night in Memphis um, that is complimentary or at least part of the cruise itself. Then on November 14th, we begin, we leave Memphis and we will end up in New Orleans um, seven days later. So we'll river cruise for seven days and we're gonna see part of the country that candidly, I don't know anything about. And I'm real excited about Linda has done a great job of helping me um, learn about Vicksburg and the Civil War battles. And uh, she just told me there'll be a historian on that will help us learn so much about the Civil War, which honestly, I, I know a lot about ancient history. I don't know much about American history and that's uh, embarrassing to tell you. I know a little bit. I'm looking forward to learning a heck of a lot more. And then going into some of those beautiful areas with the antebellum homes and the plan that we've always heard about. I think we're gonna feel that culture of the South that uh, is, is pretty special. So with that said, I'm gonna turn it over to Linda Heckman. And Linda is the representative for American Cruise Lines. She's gonna to talk to you about this brand new ship, the American Jazz, that passed its sea trials last week and is going to begin cruising the lower Mississippi on September 12th. Hip, hip, Jorge, as I say to my son-in-law, Jorge Martinez. So the reality is we're all excited. There's, there's something that will be available for us to do. I think you'll be blown away with the quality of this ship. Um, I think the service will be so impressive and they will be so happy to see us. And I, I'm looking forward to this. The weather is gonna be very, very good that time of the year in November. Remember, we're quite, quite a way south. I look forward to be in the high 60s, uh, you know, uh, low 50s, and then that, that could change. We all will wait and see, but perfect weather for that time of the year. Anyway, with that said, I'm gonna introduce Linda and then she's going to talk all about and show you the slideshow of America and the American Jazz. We're going to talk specifically about our lower Mississippi hosted cruise by me, yours truly. And um, and that will be on November 14th through the 21st, again with a pre-night hotel stay in Memphis on November 13th. When we're done, uh, if you have questions, go ahead and type it in. If <laughs> technology works well, we'll try to answer some of your questions. If not, email us or call us. Uh, later today or tomorrow, and we'll get back to you with all the answers. Lynette Talge is our uh, group coordinator on this. Uh, her phone number, if you want to call her directly, is, uh, well, just call, we have a reception, it's 816-505-1500, 505-1500. Uh, and you can ask for your counselor. If you have a counselor, if you do not ask for Lin Lynette Talge, T-A-L-G-E, she's the group coordinator on this. So without further ado, Linda Heckman, I'm gonna turn it over to you. All right, wonderful, well, Mark. Happy Tuesday, happy September 1st to everyone. It's my pleasure to be with you guys today, and I am more than happy to give you some information about the wonderful company that I represent, American Cruise Lines. So I'm gonna start by telling you who we are because we're not exactly a household name to a lot of people. So American Cruise Lines is headquartered in Guilford, Connecticut, we are a US registered cruise line. We also own the shipyard where we build our ships on the Chesapeake Bay. So we are one of very few US registered cruise ships and it affords us a great deal of opportunity to be US registered. Uh, there are also certain restrictions we must play by that our foreign registered friends don't have to do. Number one, we are required by law to have a minimum of 75% of our crew on all of our ships be US citizens. We choose to do 100%. So all of our deck and engine folks and all of our hotel staff, everybody's a US citizen, which is great. And we're very proud of that. Uh, we also only sail the rivers and the waters of the US, the intercoastal waterway and the rivers of the US, which does means that we can't go to Canada. We are not allowed by law to call in any foreign ports. So we are strictly US 100% all the way. And while lower Mississippi, as Mark has picked for his wonderful cruise, is the most popular itinerary that we have, it by no means is the only thing we have to offer. We actually have 35 plus itineraries and we're in 25 states. So if you wanna find yourself doing a little fall foliage, in October we are scheduled to be doing the Hudson River Valley with the Independence and the Constitution. Those are two of our ships that do our coastal viewing and that's out of New York. And we're gonna go all the way up to um, the Hudson River, uh, all the way up to Sleepy Hollow. And around there, you will get an opportunity to go to um, 
a lot of wonderful places and that's a beautiful time of year to see that beautiful foliage. We also operate, if you're so inclined, you can do the entire lakes all the way down of the intercoastal waterway from Maine, 3,000 miles down to Florida. If you want to touch a manatee, we can take you there as well. Out west, we're we'll able to take you on the Columbian Snake River, which Mark mentioned he's done before. We also operate in Alaska, uh, the San Juan Islands out of Seattle, the Columbia River, or excuse me, the uh, Cumberland River, as well as the Ohio River. So we're pretty much everywhere you can imagine to be found. But today we're going to concentrate on Mark's itinerary. Let me tell you a little bit about what's going on. The, uh, Mark mentioned that the jazz is the American jazz. She's the third in our series of new modern river ships. First was the American song, then the American harmony. The jazz has joined us now and next year will be the melody. There will be others that will join us as well. 190 passengers and what you're looking at is the harmony. That's a sister ship to the jazz. 190 passengers is her total capacity. All the cabins are outside. All the cabins have a private balcony. We have voluntarily reduced the capacity that we are allowing on our ships. So at 190, we're reducing by 25%. That means we will allow no more than 142 people on the American Jazz. Uh, our COVID protocol is very extensive with a lot of social distancing involved. We are sending PPE to our passengers so that it's provided to them. We do have medical staff on board the ships all the time. Our crew has been briefed in what to look for. Uh, we are also cleaning high touch areas every single hour, meaning elevator buttons and doorknobs and those kinds of things. And probably most importantly, there is no shared duct work in any of our cabins with any other cabin or any of our public rooms. Every cabin, every lounge, every restaurant has got their own private duct working. So there's nothing shared there in the way of any venting. So. Without further ado, I am going to start showing you some beautiful slides and I'll talk to you about where this wonderful ship's going on Mark's Lower Mississippi cruise. So there you get a look at the entire itinerary. So as Mark said, we're doing one night free in Memphis. And for those of you that have not been to Memphis before, please come and get some good barbecue. Uh, you can also, of course, visit the wonderful Peabody Hotel and watch the ducks waddle down in the morning and spend their day swimming in the fountain of the lounge in the Peabody Hotel or watch them walk back up to their suite as they leave for the day. Go across the street and get some wonderful barbecue at the Rendezvous and we're just steps away from famous Beale Street at that point in time. We're going to move on down the uh, Mississippi River to Greenville and Vicksburg, Natchez, St. Francisville, Baton Rouge, before we come into New Orleans, uh, you're gonna visit Oak Alley and the um, other plantations and antebellum homes along the way as well. So there's a shot of the jazz. And yes, we use that cone to board sometimes. Now we don't use this all the time. We don't use it in New Orleans. So anybody who wants to spend two nights in Memphis and go visit Graceland and hold on to your hats, have a private cocktail party in the jungle room, that's available to you as well. And that's a signature short tour. Complimentary one night pre is offered in Memphis. And that also includes your, uh, your short porterage of your luggage on the day of embarkation and the transfer for yourself and your bags to the ship. And it is a fun time to hit on Beale Street. BB King is right on the corner, literally footsteps from where the Peabody is. This is the two night package at Graceland. Go visit the King if you haven't done so. Graceland has all been redone. Uh, the Heartbreak Hotel is no more and has been replaced by a beautiful guest house. Lovely. That two night practice or that two night stay is there and you're gonna get a VIP tour into Graceland and all around Graceland, and we'll take you on a Memphis tour as well. 
And there you go. That's the king's house. Now, the, the mansion itself has not changed. It's just as it was in 1977. It looks exactly the same. But what is around it and across the street has most definitely changed. Vicksburg, Mississippi is a very important part of this itinerary. The Battle of Vicksburg was very hard fought, and by the way, it was taking place at the same time that Gettysburg was. You will go to the Battle of Vicksburg, you will learn a great deal about this important battle in this important city in the South, and about the Anaconda Plan that eventually forced the fall of Vicksburg. This is one of those beautiful homes in Natchez, Mississippi. Natchez is a quaint, beautiful little antebellum town. There's lots of wonderful little restaurants and, and shopping is great there. It's a lovely little place to visit. And yes, that gentleman is playing the piano as you come into one of those antebellum homes. It's just lovely. St. Francisville, Louisiana is one of my favorite little towns on this itinerary because it's very unpretentious. It's just a fun little, quaint little town that's a step back in time. Lovely to visit. And for the ladies that are listening, there's a wonderful little shop to go shop at. I'm a shopper, so of course I do that. And it's called My Grandmother's Buttons. My Grandmother's Buttons is a lovely place that offers you uh, jewelry and purses and tchotchkes and all kinds of fun, wonderful Christmas ornaments and those kinds of things at my grandmother's buttons in St. Francisville. And just as an aside, it is also where the famous Angola prison is located in St. Francisville. And I just saw the other night again that Lester Holt on the NBC News is going to reshow his stay where he spent three nights in Angola. It's fascinating to watch. This is the beautiful uh, capital in Baton Rouge. It's absolutely magnificent. That's like the rotunda area in the capital in Baton Rouge. A ship will dock very close to where you'll be able to walk to some really interesting things to visit. A museum and a, an old US uh, Navy ship are there as well, but you'll also get a chance to visit this beautiful state capital. It is absolutely magnificent. And if you want to, and if you need to, see that gator, we'll be happy to take you out there to see that gator. There is a swamp tour that you're welcome to partake in if you choose to do so. Thomas House is one of the beautiful plantations and antebellum homes that has been completely renovated. This will probably start being decorated for Christmas about the time that you are there. And they decorate literally just about every inch of the grounds of Thomas House. It's really, really lovely. It's been fully restored as a wonderful little gift shop, by the way. And of course, there's New Orleans. So we're gonna dock at the Port of New Orleans. It's outside of the French Quarter, but it is within walking distance. That's a little bit of a, a, um, a trek, but Uber will come and get you and take you into the French Quarter as well if you wanna do so. If you're gonna spend some extra time, it's not a bad idea because as we all know, this is a pretty darn good eating city. So take advantage of that if you get a chance to do so. Um, your included tours are going to be, for example, the wonderful Vicksburg Battlefield is included. The uh, Homeless House is included. Oak Alley Plantation is also included, which is amazing and has beautiful live oak. The city tour with a little trek around St. Francisville is included and the gentleman will stop right in front of my mother's grandmother's buttons and pick you up there too. So you can go shopping there as well. It's just a really lovely trip. If you decide you wanna go on that swamp tour and visit this guy, I call him Henry. If you wanna go visit Henry, he'll be there waiting for you. And Henry is one of the tours that's not included. It costs about $25 to take that trip out. To the swamp, if you wanna see him and the other animals that are out there waiting, He'll be happy to accommodate you. And again, that's something you just pay for on the ship. Thomas House again, and then New Orleans. And Mark, that's it. My slides are done. Well, then I think that's pretty, <laughs> I think that's mm -hmm. pretty good. I hope everybody, Linda, that has watched this has had a um, feeling that this is really going to be a, a fascinating trip from start to finish. And you are right. I think it's so good. I, I've learned this on my European river cruises that the places that you know, like in this case, uh, Memphis and New Orleans, sure. many of 
have heard of Vicksburg or Baton Rouge, but we don't really know much about it. I, at least I don't. And right. those places that we don't know normally are the places that exceed our expectation the highest. And uh, do you find that to be true? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I always mention St. Francisville. And I mean, you, it's literally a dot in the road, this little bitty baby town is. But it's just very quaint. And I mean, I had a wonderful lunch there. And again, my grandmother's buttons is a fun place to shop. And then right back to the ship and off we go. Oh, and by the way, Mark, I forgot to mention the food on the ship. Oh my, how silly of me. So um, what's a cruise without food, right? So the food on the ships is extraordinary. It is all fresh. We don't freeze anything. So all of the food is plated. We don't do buffets. We never have and we never will. It's all plated. It's all fresh. It's all seriously good. Um, there is complimentary beer and wine available with both lunch and dinner. There is also, if anybody's a wine connoisseur, there is an upgraded list. The wines that are free are quite good, but if somebody has in their mind they want an Opus One bottle, they can get it. Uh, it's There is enough charge on that, obviously, but it is available. Um, it's absolutely fabulous. The food is extraordinary. Single seating in all of our dining rooms, Mark, and they are open seating. So if you want to sit with Mr. and Mrs. Smith tonight and you want to sit with just you and your hubby the next night or with another couple that you met on the shore tour to watch Henry in the Swamp, that's fine. You can sit with anybody you want to. An hour prior to dinner, every evening we do a complimentary cocktail party with hors d'oeuvres and that's all top shelf liquor. Frankly, the wine comes out at about 11 o'clock in the morning every day. So People can have as much as they want anytime they want. It's entirely up to them. Hey, Linda. So, yeah. If I can interrupt, um, sure. a question that I know a lot of people have, I obviously had it, so I asked you, could you address the dress code on the new oh, American sure. Pass, please? Yeah, of course. Uh, first of all, let me assure you that the fashion police will not be there, okay? <laughs> Nobody has to pack a tux. No ladies have to pack a long dress. Yep. Did you hear mute? I, I lost you. We'll wait a minute for Linda to come back. And when we do, we'll talk about the dress code. But what I can tell you is it's casual all day long. You saw the one picture of the gentleman in shorts and a polo shirt. So obviously, every time but a meal time no is... Going to work to the dining room. No one's going to tell you to go change. Perfectly fine. So and the dining room, are not dining there. room experience, Linda, you cut out just a little bit there. Talk about the dining exactly. room dress code. The dining room does not have a dress code. Uh, I would recommend Country Club Casual. We would prefer not to have jeans in the dining room for dinner. But again, no one's going to ask you to go change clothes. We want you to be comfortable and enjoy your cruise. Well, I appreciate that. And I, that's normally what we... Yeah. Ask people um, country club class, uh, casual anymore for evening meals is very, very acceptable and very, very normal. And I, mm -hmm. I know this is going to be pretty much a casual cruise. And I like that about. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, and I would uh, recommend that time of the year. You're right. The weather is typically very good in the lower Mississippi, but it can rain, of course. So you're going to want to layer yourself. I, I never go anywhere without an umbrella. It's permanently in my suitcase always. And as you know, I travel about as much as you do. So. Uh, that that uh, umbrella is always with me, or as my husband says, the brelly is always with me. But I would recommend layering yourself so that ladies would have maybe a sweater they could put on or a light jacket or a pashmina or something along that line. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. And Linda, I think the other thing we should address that I, I think is really important is that the this is pretty much an all-inclusive experience. And I would say uh, there's obviously options of everything that can be upgraded, whether it's uh, mm -hmm. the alcohol part, spirits, or uh, a few tours like that. But pretty much 90 to 95 uh, percent of the experience will be um, absolutely paid, paid yeah. ahead of we're, time. We're as close as you can come, Mark, to an all-inclusive trip on the rivers right. of America. And I didn't mention, but I will now. We don't ask for and we do not accept gratuities on the ship. 
Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. Do not tip our staff. So, you know, back in the day when you had to get on your ship and and take the cash out of your wallet and put it in the safe so you didn't spend it buying jewelry someplace or some something like those days are gone. We don't do that. We don't allow our staff to be tipped. Well, I, I think I, that's so good. I'm so glad you said that. And by the way, one of the things that we all are aware of right now is, you know, how high our unemployment rate is. And so honestly, good for you for having, uh, good for American Cruise Lines for having an American staff. I, um, you know, we sometimes um, uh, compare probably erroneously to uh, maybe the old um, Norwegian Cruise Line when they had to have so many Americans on the staff over in Hawaii, but they were 21 right. year old kids that could have cared less and didn't know what good service is. And I right, totally right. expect this to be different but right now i'm just really proud that you guys have hired all americans and uh offered that many jobs to americans so good good for you linda yeah yeah and we pay them a good union wage too so they're they're not doing bad <laughs> which is important now let's talk about this ship is 190 passengers which right. is 95 staterooms very very nice upscale mm -hmm. staterooms Right. And there's all sorts of different accommodations. Yes. But on this cruise, because of this, um, the standards by design, there will only be 75% maximum capacity for social right. distancing, which is 71 cabins or 142 people maximum. Right. Is that correct? That is 100% correct. And while I hope it's sold out to that level, I would bet it won't be. And I want to invite all of my staff or all my people who will join me, excuse me, my guests to that will join me, <laughs> not my staff. They We got to get them to stay here and work in this. We want, we, as much I, as they all want to go with you, Mark. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. They um, I want you, I, if you're listening today and we've got a great, group of people listening i'm so pleased that this is of interest to you and uh you've heard me say this before linda and i've talked she says she hears it all the time that many many travel agents like mimi and i and all of us at cruise holidays kansas city think of river cruising we sell european river cruising first and and that's very understandable but right now they we can't do that there there's nothing available for americans to do when it comes to river cruising in europe um, or about anywhere else. So there is now with American Cruise Line. And I'm so excited. Honestly, Linda, I'm so excited about trying this experience and mm -hmm. being able to tell I'm going to I'm going to do all the social media I can do and videoing. Uh, Nicole is after me already to take, <laughs> you know, take as many, do as many Facebook lives and everything as I can everywhere, which yeah, I will do. Of course. And, and it's of course. time to learn about the American history. We found out mm -hmm. already when we start looking around America, how much beauty and how much history and what a fascinating diverse culture we have in this country and Absolutely. i'm very very excited to experience the southern hospitality and southern yep. culture yep absolutely now Linda, we have, um, you all have worked with us so well for this group i'm hosting on november 14th on the american jazz we actually have what's called group space which is guaranteed rates and they're guaranteed until the ship fills up or sells out so no a lot of people are asking is it too late to book on this no it is not and that's one reason why we're having this webinar Most not only is it not too late i would submit to you mark that it's never too early to book <laughs> well i mean to get the accommodations that you want that mm -hmm. is 100 percent true and also it gives us a chance to work on options for you on how to get to memphis and home from new orleans we've got one of my good friends is uh, literally taking the train uh, both directions to Memphis and from New Orleans. Now, how oh, cool. cool. So, yeah, there's lots of different ways. If you want to drive, there's a way to make that happen, too. So whatever it is, if you're interested in this, please give your uh, vacation counselor a call. You can call us at 816-505-1500, 505-1500. Or you can, uh, man, if you want, you can email either myself or my assistant, Lynette Talge, who is the group coordinator for this cruise. She has all the information. And if you want a flyer sent to you and more information, we can send that to you immediately. You can also go to our website, cruise, right now you can do that, cruiseholidays.com. 
kc.com. Go to our groups page and you'll see this hosted group on the American Jazz by yours truly, Mark Comfort. So I am, uh, I'm very excited about this, Linda, and I appreciate so much you taking the time to join us today and sharing with us this great opportunity. And you know, we also have, to, to your point, you did a really good job talking about the safety protocols, which we know everybody is interested in right now. Of course, absolutely. And we've got a link that if you would like to watch the executives of American Cruise Line talk about their safety uh, protocols in detail, uh, we ask your counselor, ask me or Lynette, and we can send that to you so you can see that too. I think we have that up on our website. I just can't tell you exactly where it is, but if you I want- I think you're it, correct, Mark. I think it is there, yeah. Okay. Linda, anything else uh, you want to add to this? Um, I do. So anybody who's a single traveler, don't worry about single travelers. We are incredibly single friendly. So please come with us. And we do have single cabins on the ships and we have, you can take sole use of a double cabin. All of the bedding in all of the ships is going to be able to be one bed or two. And they are king size beds, folks. Most cruise ships go no bigger than a queen. Ours are kings, and if you want two beds, you just tell us to make it with two, and we'll split them in half. Well, Linda, you've showed up us the mock-ups of these rooms, and they do look, I mean, they're really a little bit more on the category of uh, suites than they are just oh, yeah. a... they're lovely. And that private balcony is a big plus. We've also instituted, by the way, Mark, some 24-hour or some meals that can be taken on outside on your deck, and I would highly recommend people do that. At least do at one breakfast out on your wonderful deck. And I think more and more under these times, uh, room service will be something that will be very yeah. much of interest to people. And yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. ah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm ready to go on a vacation. <laughs> Are you, Linda? I'm ready to. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Well, let me just uh, do this. I want to get back so everybody can see that I'm really ready for happy hour. Um, <laughs> really ready for happy hour. So I've got a. I've got, I want you to see this, guess what? Oh, does that not make you happy? I love it, love it, love it. You know, I'm an avid Chiefs fan, so I, the only thing I wish is that the Chiefs were playing the Titans or uh, the Saints right before, right after this event, we'd work to do our pre and post package. Hey, and by the way, when we get um, everybody pretty much uh, booked, I'm going to talk to you all individually about the option of going in two nights to Memphis. The one night is uh, included in the price, and I'm very pleased about that. The before the cruise goes is when we uh, get the opportunity to go do that private tour, that special tour over at uh, the King's um, house. Uh, Price. Hunk a hunk of burning love. There you go. Lots, lots of. Do we have to wear blue, blue, blue suede shoes? Of course you do. <laughs> no, of course we do, yeah. yeah. Well, I've been to Memphis and been in New Orleans a couple of times, or to uh, uh, Graceland a couple of times, and it is well worth a visit, believe me. And you are walking back in time when you go in that mansion. Well, that's what I think a lot of this experience is about, Linda, is learning a little bit, again, like you say, the culture and the history of the area Absolutely. that we're traveling to. Hey, you and I earlier were talking about the color of your mask that was burgundy, and I said to you, because I used to live in New Orleans, there is a word in New Orleans where I used to live a street called Burgundy. It is not Burgundy in New Orleans, it's Burgundy. <laughs> it's a different culture. <laughs> you know what? I would ask everybody, keep wearing your masks. Um, we need the numbers to go down. If the numbers are go down, that's what our country is being judged on right now by the rest of the world, by the CDC. So if our numbers go down or as our numbers go down, um, more, more and more places will open up, uh, which we hope and it's looking like the cruise industry will be uh, next year, uh, unfortunately. So who knows, might not, we might get some ocean cruise lines that open up uh, in the Caribbean or the Bahamas this year yet. Uh, there's a lot of rumors going on around that. Uh, we just don't know. But the one thing we are sure of is as our numbers go down, more countries will open up. So I hope you'll be interested in this cruise uh, with me in November of this year gosh i'm ready to go somewhere i've been to colorado three times we have a place out at copper mountain the comfort <laughs> condo and i've been out there three times already and every time i go out there it's like a vacation that i'm not getting to take i feel refreshed i feel uh 
energized. The weight of all this negativity in our country is off my mind and off, you know, the my shoulders, so to speak. And um, we're looking forward to getting everything back together. We're very, very uh, pleased. We've had a lot of talks with our staff. We've kept um, 90 five percent of our staff which Mimi and I are very very proud of we uh, did not want what most of the agencies in this country did and that was to furlough their people and we did not want to do that so we're looking forward to uh, earning your business as soon as possible again safely of course well Linda I thank you again for your time you've been oh Mark you cut out I can't hear you Are you there? Well, I think you're about to say goodbye to me, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in and say thanks for joining me. I appreciate it, and I would love to see everybody join the American Jazz. Thanks very much. Have a great rest of your week.